What's going on guys? T-Mart here and boy am I excited about today's video because we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the brand new 2013 Astro A40. So this is the new model this year. As you guys know, the uh, the regular A40s have been around for a long time. They're a very well-known headset. I love them. You know, they look great, they sound great, they feel great. They're just, they're popular, they're old and they're trustworthy. Well, this is the new model of that. This has some updated features that are very exciting and I can't wait to get into them and I can't wait to try them out. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And then as well, at the end of this video, I've also got my A50s out and, and we'll do kind of a little side-by-side -side comparison because some of you guys might be looking for a new headset for the holidays or for Black Ops 2 or whatever it may be, Halo 4, and, and you might wanna, you know, kind of think about, do I want the A50s, do I want the A40s, you know, which ones do I want, and I'll help you out with that decision. So anyway, let's get into the box here. So I haven't even opened these things up because I've been waiting for you guys. Now, here it is. This is the typical Astro packaging. Bunch of crazy stuff going on. Feels really good, really sturdy. When we open it up, bam, there she is. This is the brand new 2013 A40 headset. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the old version. We'll take these plastic tags off. And it just, it, it looks good. It looks clean, it looks sturdy, and I'm sure they feel great. Now, as we move on, this is really a huge deal. This is the new Mixamp Pro that's gonna be out with these headsets. And this thing has a lot of improvements over the old Mixamp that you can see over here. So, uh, we'll get into the details of this bad boy soon. This thing is a, uh, it's a game changer. And then finally, over on the right side over here, it looks like we have your quick start guide. So basically, it works with any console or PC or whatever you wanna do, it shows you how to set it up. And, uh, and your welcome to the Astro family card and then finally you have your microphone that's nice and bendy over here that plugs into the side of the headset and and then all your cables so uh, I'm gonna get this thing set up I'm gonna play with it for a little bit so I can give you guys my first impressions and kind of a little review and and then we'll compare them to the A50s so I'll see you guys in a sec Alright guys, welcome back. So uh, I had a chance to try these bad boys out for a little bit and as you can see we have all the headsets lined up. So we've got the A50s, the old A40s, and the new 2013 A40s. And uh, the first thing I want to take a look at is the differences between the old A40s and the new A40s because there's a couple of them. So uh, first of all, overall the new A40s are a better headset. You know, that's to be expected. Everything about them is updated. There's updated drivers and speakers in the ear cups so the gameplay audio is going to sound better. Uh, there's updated ear padding so it's going to feel better on your head. And overall Overall, it's just it's a better, more updated headset because it's a later model. Now, another major difference is this cable now disconnects. So if you want to get up and you want to walk somewhere and keep your headset with you, you can do that. Or, you know, maybe say this cable goes bad or something, you can now replace it a lot easier than with the old headset where the cable is built into it and you couldn't take it out. So that's just a nice little feature they added. Now, the main difference between these two headsets or these two systems is the mix amps themselves. This new mix amp is a uh, is a really, really, really crazy improvement, and it's what makes the new A40 the new A40. So let's check it out. Now, if we unplug all these things, I'll walk you through it. So uh, the first thing you're going to notice is the uh, the battery pack on the back has been removed, which makes the mix amp smaller. So on the old A40s, you could put AA batteries in there, but nobody was using it because there's a USB power output that you can plug into your console or uh, your PC or you know whatever else is near this thing, and and, and there's no need for batteries, so they took that out. Now, uh, on the bottom, there's the same old features that we're used to. There's daisy chaining, which means you can connect your mix amps together if you wanna have a LAN party or you're going to a tournament or something. And then there's also a place for your mix amp to be connected to your headset and your mix amp to be connected to your controller, and that's what gives your headset game audio, and that's what takes uh, game audio and stuff from your controller. Now, uh, up on top, there's the USB power output, which I said before. There's also a new stream output, which is very, very cool. So what this does is it combines all of your sources of audio. So your gameplay audio, your outgoing voice chat, and your incoming voice chat, and it combines them all into one line that you can then send out to either your PC if you're trying to live stream, or your capture card if you're recording gameplay, and it keeps all your audio in one place, which is really, really convenient. It's a great new feature for those of you who like to live stream or, or record videos and do that kind of thing. Now, uh, there's an MP3 port, which if you want to plug your iPod in, you can play music through your headset while you're playing the game, so you can have some background music to pump you up. And, and finally, there's the optical port, which takes the audio from your console, your PS3, your Xbox, and it puts it into the, uh, the mix amp, and then it sends it up to your headset. Now, uh, one of the main, biggest, most exciting features of this new mix amp is on the front here. And I think you guys might have already seen it if you've seen the old headset, or the old mix amp, I'm sorry. So, uh, what are the, what's different here? You've got the main master volume rocker, you've got the voice versus the game chat mixer, you've got the Dolby surround sound. What's this button here do? These are the new equalizer modes, and there's four of them. There's top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. So there's four. Now, uh, the top one, the first one, 
is pro mode. And what this does is it accentuates different details within the game that you really want to hear. You know, kind of those low minor clues like footsteps or gunshots or grenades or things like that. It's built to drown out the background noise and accentuate the things that are important for first person shooters like Call of Duty or Halo or whatever else it may be. Now number two is core mode. And this is where nothing has been changed. This is for like single player games where you want to hear the sound exactly how it was made to be heard. So uh, you know that doesn't do anything to the sound. Number three is your media mode. So this this is for listening to music or watching movies or anything like that and it accentuates the bass so it makes everything sound a lot more bassy there's more mids and things like that so just it, it makes things sound better in that regard and then finally number four is your sports mode and this is for sports games and it truly does make you feel like you're in some type of stadium I mean it's kind of like echoey or you know I, I don't know how to explain it but uh, it, it makes you feel like you're there which is uh, which is pretty cool so there you have it there's four modes there's pro core media and sports, which is uh, which is pretty cool. And right now, these modes are standard. You can't change them. But either later this year or early next year, you are going to be able to customize these things to how exactly you like it, which will be perfect. And and you can share them with friends and things like that. And you can create the best audio profile for you possible, which uh, which will be pretty cool. Now uh, let's move on to the A40s versus the A50s. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, this is kind of like the heavyweight title fight of gaming headsets. These are the two titans that Astro has most recently come out with. And uh, and let's compare them. So in one corner, you have the brand new 2013 A40s. And the other corner, you have the A50s. Which headset is better? It's all about personal opinion. Overall, the quality of these two headsets is about the same. They both sound great, they both look great, and they both feel great on your head. So overall, the quality is pretty similar between the two. But let's take a look at the differences. So uh, the main difference that most people will notice is one is wired, and one is wireless. So uh, for the A40s, you have two cables coming out of the back, one for your gameplay audio and one for your power, but you've got two cables coming out of the front, one which goes into your headset and one which goes into your controller. So you're kind of locked down to your desk when you're using this headset. You can't get up and move around. For the A50s, it's also got two coming out of the back for audio and for power, but there's none coming out of the front. There is one coming out of the headset going to your controller. So you can get up, you can walk around, and you can get away from your desk if you want to. So this is more for like a, a home theater setup or you know something where you want to be able to sit back and move around. This is more for somebody who games at a desk or at a table or whatever and you know kind of stays stationary and, and, and does that sort of thing. So that's that. Now, uh, in terms of equalizer modes, which are also a very, very important feature here, uh, this one, the A40s, have four equalizer modes, and the A50s have three, so they're both about the same there. I mean, the A40s do have a slight advantage. Uh, for the A40s, you can customize your speaker tags and take them off, so you can put your gamer tag on them or whatever you want, which is a pretty cool feature, as well as you can take your microphone out. So if you want to take your mic out and use them just as a regular headset, you can walk around and wear them like some beats or something like that, whereas with the A50s, you you can't do that. The uh, the microphone is built in and it doesn't come out. So uh, those are, uh, I would say those are the main differences between the two headsets. The A40s, you're locked down to that one area where you're going to game at. So if you game at a desk and you don't really get up and move around, then, uh, then that shouldn't be a problem for you. The A50s allow you to get up and go make a hot pocket or whatever you want to do if you want to do that. And, and the A40s, they have a slightly better equalizer mode because there's more of them and you can also customize them more because you can change out your speaker tags and you can take the microphone off if you want to just listen to audio. So uh, there you guys have it. Those are the A50s. Those are the A40s. They're both great headsets. I highly recommend both of them. And if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. Astro makes great stuff. And, and thank you guys so much for watching. So hope you all enjoyed the video. And I've got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. And uh, thanks so much, guys. Catch you all later. Peace.